Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swim Guide. So you asked for it, we're giving it to you one final time. We are talking about hand changes. The reason for this is a lot of times our instructors say you can vary hand changes by using the opposite hand or maybe going in a different level with your hands. Well, that can get confusing for the novice dancer. We want to give you some choreography that you can practice time and time again to get a lot more comfortable later with that improvisation. So today we're at kind of that master's legendary level, that boss level of hand changes, where we're going to give you an 18 feet sequence, starting with a push break, then going into a left side pass cutoff, ended by a leader's duck, with a follower spin in the close, with tons of hand changes. So let's check it out. We will show it first. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now to break it down, like Desiree said, this is challenging. Don't feel bad if you can't get it the first time or even the second or third time. First move, pretty simple. Basic push break. Leaders, we want to make sure we're taking the hand straight over the follower's head. We're not giving them any indication that this will be a turn one way or the other. Just straight up and over, nice and relaxed. Three and four, sliding down to catch leader's right to follower's left or dumb hand hold. From here, this is a left side pass with a cutoff. We're probably familiar with right side pass cutoffs. Two, three. This is a similar concept, but other side, different hand hold. One, two, three. My body's moving in opposition to Desiree. I offer my free hand as I switch sides. Again, opposition, offer the other hand, switch sides. From here, I take my left hand up and over, break the connection. Here, leaders, you're gonna wanna squat more than you think you have to. If we don't squat, that tends to round our back and our shoulders, which doesn't look super nice in a photo. We wanna really squat down, just pop the head under. Here, I'm karate chopping the followers back to wrap into closed for a spin. Mm -hmm. So for our followers, what are we thinking about here? First things first is leader sets the hand hold height. So when we've got hand changes going around, we want to be aware that it's okay for the leader to take the hand up or down. We're going to keep a nice relaxed arm. Into that push break from cross hand hold. With a drape, we allow this arm to bend overhead because that's what leader asked for. We also follow through with our push break compression by setting our left hand on around the hip height of the leader and continuing forward with our momentum into the two, three, and leader directs us back to the four with leader's body. And from here, we use that trailing technique we talked about earlier to reestablish hand hold connection in this way. Then we're gonna get into our really cool left side pass cutoffs. The thing to note here is that I'm connected again in opposition. This is a stretch away connection for my partner, but my partner has slightly rotated me, so I will be ultimately turning to face my partner if I truly follow through with that connection in opposition and stretch. That's gonna make it very easy to see that my leader's got his hand at my forehead height, indicating, right, that he wants to take my hand. I'm going to stay connected back away to take that hand, and allow the leader to lead with the body. I'm not going to assume just because the leader has a hand up that that means I can start to turn myself. Again, staying in opposition in the opposite side, taking the hand just lightly and neutral, and then allowing the body lead, which actually comes from this hand lower in my core, to shift me. Now we get to the cool part, the duck, right? Leader, before he breaks the connection, or she breaks the connection, is actually gonna set my hand right around his right shoulder or armpit. I'm going to, again, use trailing technique to make sure I don't break the connection around the leader's back. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a swim with my right arm up and around, left arm up and around. As I turn, just pivot my weight underneath me. I'm going to collect in closed position and do a triple step. Showing this one more time without stopping. Push break with our drape. One, two, three, and four. Left side cut off. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at mattdavisswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Guide Swing Dance Studio. Bye.